What's going on guys, EGSB here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video about the iPad Air 4. Now this is not the iPad Air 4, but it's the iPad Air 3, and I'm gonna be talking about some of the things that I think Apple will be doing to improve on this iPad Air 3 for the 2020 model. The 2020 model will be released at the end of this year, and I'm gonna be talking about all of those specs, including the power, the display, everything that I predict will be involved in making that iPad. Now, before I get into it, if I could kindly ask you guys to hit the subscribe button and like this video, as it'll really help my channel grow, I really appreciate it if you could smash the subscribe button. Now, let's start off with the design of the iPad Air 4. The iPad Air 3 is pretty beautiful of a device in itself. I know that Apple is going to change the outdated design. Now, if you look at the sides, we've got these big, big bezels on each side, and I think Apple will get rid of these bezels and do a more of an all screen display. It looks a lot better and I really think that the design of the iPads in the past, especially the non-pros, it really hasn't changed that much. Although this is a beautiful device compared to the regular iPad, the cheaper model, uh, it still is due for a redesign. So I'm going to say that Apple will definitely reduce these bezels on the iPad Air 4. You can't really downsize the bezels without actually doing something with the touch id and while i do love the touch id i think apple will go two routes there's one route that is pretty logical and one is a pipe dream so i'll start off with the pipe dream they might try to implement face id on the iPad Air 3. Now, I know that that is exclusive to the iPad Pros and it might not happen, but it is a wish list, and I hope that they do implement the Face ID on this because it'll help reduce the bezels because you're gonna get rid of this Touch ID button here. And Face ID is already implemented in the iPhone, so it's just a seamless experience. Don't think Apple will do that because they don't wanna cannibalize uh, the iPad Pro sales. I think that Apple will actually instead go for an in-screen display and that has been the rumor about what's going to happen with these devices is that Apple will actually go for an in-screen touch ID reader which is absolutely new it has not been seen before so they might try to do that on either some of the iPhones that they release or they will actually implement this in the iPad Air 4 I think that's highly likely there's been a lot of rumors that that is coming and again it'll help reduce the bezels by getting rid of this touch ID button. Another thing about the design is the display. This is the 10.5 inch display. I think Apple will either go up a bit to 10.8, but I don't think it'll go much bigger than that. And I highly doubt that it'll even go smaller than that on the iPad Air 4. I highly doubt that Apple will actually put some quad core speakers on this thing. I mean, I don't think it's likely because although it's ideal and it'll be on my wish list, I really don't think that Apple will go for that just because it'll really, again, cannibalize the iPad Pro sales. And these speakers are actually plenty loud, so they don't have to improve on that. They can keep the price low by sticking with the speakers that we already have on this device. At the bottom, you have the annoying lightning switch, which I think Apple will, again, get rid of. They're going to do USB-C. I'm gonna call it out now. I think that that's where they're gonna go with for the iPad 4. They're going to switch this out for a USB-C, and that is great for iPad users users and iPhone users because a lot of our devices such as the MacBook that I have back here a lot of technology has already made the move to USB-C and this is just one less cable that you're gonna have to carry around if you go with USB-C on the bottom of these iPads a lot of people will be upset that their uh, lightning accessories will become obsolete at the end of the day USB-C is the way of the future and it's about time that Apple brings their devices up to that level. If you look at the bottom of the device, you'll see the smart connector here. I think Apple is going to find a better way to implement the Apple Pencil charging. So maybe they're going to release a new model of the Apple Pencil that takes advantage of the smart connector and charge the Apple Pencil, sort of like what, you, again, you see on the iPad Pro, because something sticking out of here is actually ridiculous and it looks terrible. It's not practical at all. So I think Apple will scrap that with the new iPad Air 4. Again, they're thinking forward. I highly doubt that they're actually going to stick with that pencil generation 
on the new iPad Air 4. Quickly speaking about the battery life, you know what it is. This is gonna have a 10 hour battery life. I highly doubt Apple will go with more than that or even less than that. All iPads have had a 10 hour battery life and I predict that the iPad Air 4 will be the same and you'll be able to kill your browsing sessions, play all your games, listen to your music and still have spare battery at the end of the day. Also, I think that the camera at the front will be upgraded. Now this is a seven megapixel shooter at the front end it's pretty good it works pretty well but i think that apple will upgrade it maybe leave it at seven megapixel but give it a different type of sensor and then at the back i think that apple will upgrade this this is an eight megapixel at the back so i think that what they're going to do is go with a 12 megapixel for the camera just because camera is really not that great on the ipads and i'm not an advocate for even taking pictures with this but a lot of people scan documents i really really doubt that it's going to have LiDAR on these devices. So in terms of specs, I doubt Apple will give it the highest powered specs in the game. I think that Apple will be uh, pretty conservative giving it the power just because again, you don't want to cannibalize the iPad Pro sales. Now moving on to the power of the iPad, I really doubt that the iPad Air 3 will have the A13. The current model has the A12, so I predict that it's going to go with the A12X. The A12 is actually plenty powerful. Uh, you could get through a lot of games and multitask with the current iPad. So I think that really, if they are gonna upgrade it, it'll go to the A12X and not the A13. And while we're talking about the internals, I think that it'll have four gigs of RAM or three gigs of RAM. Again, you could really do a lot of multitasking. I've edited 4K videos on this puppy and I was fine. So I feel like that's gonna be either the same or they're gonna go with a four gig RAM, nothing more than that. It's going to start with the 64 gig. I doubt that it's going to start with anything more than that, although that would be ideal. Although I don't like 64 gig, found that if it does have USB-C, then I'll be able to plug in some of my drives and edit on the go with this, and this could almost become my main computer. So that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts and predictions on the iPad Air 4. Now, if some of those come true, then I'm going to say that I predicted it. And if some of those don't come true, then I'm going to try to say that I had them on my wish list. That way, I win either way. Before leaving the video, again, if I could kindly ask you guys to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Also, do a thumbs up. And if you disliked it, do a little thumbs down. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.